our fitness in is not a one size fits all. We don't all love doing the same thing. I love Orange Siri, but maybe you wouldn't. We're not all gym rats, but there is something for everyone. And today what we're going to look at is Muay Thai. Muay Thai was a form of hand-to-hand -hand combat in war during the medieval times. Muay Thai uses the body to mimic the weapons of war. The hands become the sword and dagger. The shins and forearms were hardened in training to act as armor against blows, and the elbow to knock opponents down like a heavy mace or hammer. The legs and knees become the axe and staff. The body operated as one unit. And we're at the Spartan Striking Academy and we're gonna go inside and see what it's all about. Welcome to Spartan Striking Academy Martial Arts. I'm Kriya Michael. I'm the current WBC National Champion of Canada and MTBSA Thailand World Champion. So I'm here at Spartan Striking Academy with Anthony, and he's one of the instructors here of Muay Thai. And he's going to take us around the studio and show us what it's all about. And maybe tell us, like, who is your typical student? Or is there a typical student? Um, honestly, it, uh, we have a, uh, a wide range of people that come okay. here. We have kids. We got women. We actually have a lot of women that come. Okay. They range roughly, I would say, between sixteen and maybe in their fifties. All right. So I'm I'm too old at sixty one. No, you could hundred percent do it. <laughs> this is very family friendly. I'm gonna take you down. How long have you been doing this? Uh, Muay Thai. I've been doing it for oh, maybe fourteen plus years. Wow. Yeah. So since you were just like a little guy. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I have a good relationship with my coach. It's not just fighting; it's a lifestyle. Okay. So like. For me in particular, it's it's a way to kind of carry yourself. Sure. It's not just fighting. It really is an art form. F martial arts isn't just about fighting. It's about building relationships, disciplining yourself, all of those good things. And Amazing. We really try to promote that stuff here. I love that. I love to yeah. hear that. But this is a competition-style gym. Okay. So whether you're competing or not, we're going to push you to better yourself so that it becomes more effective. Okay. How you train is how you fight. Okay. You know, you can do it for fitness, right. but that's not going to really defend you, right? Okay. So coming to these classes, they're going to challenge you. And just because you might be older, it doesn't mean that you can't do the classes. No, it just means how we definitely push you. Definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. Because we do boxing uh, with our hands. We also throw kicks with our legs, which is exactly like kickboxing. But where we separate from kickboxing is we get to throw elbows, knees, and we get to clinch up. It really depends on what you're going to put in. Right, what if you put come, in, you're going to get out. We're going to push you, but ultimately it's what you're going to put in yourself. All right. So what can I expect when I come to my class? Um, you can expect, well, it depends on the coach, but you're definitely going to learn proper defensive skills. You're going to learn footwork, head movement, and then you're going to learn weight shift, right? All of these concepts, when you combine them, it allows you to attack fierce, it allows you to attack strong, it allows you to defend yourself. So I'm here with Janelle now. She's been training with Anthony for about a year, but apparently she is the star of the class. And she is equivalent now to at least four years in training, and I can see why. The rest of the class is gone, and Janelle is here kicking that bag. It's time for the lesson, and I just hope they're not going to throw me into the ring like with the wolves. I'm going to try to hold my own. Apparently, it's elbows and knees, and we'll see how I do. This is the kids' class. I'm getting really worried. Thank you. 
now, ideally, to get the best result for this, you want to try to line up your feet with the lines of the carpet. Okay, so if you can make an L in the corner of the square, it would be a lot more ideal. Underneath your eyes, elbows tuck in. Two, on the ball of my feet, I'm going to step off one foot and transition to the other. This way I can take small little step movements. Here I Take small steps. Now when you go into this, try not to do steps. If I thought they were going to go easy on me today, I was so right, wrong. Guys, if you're here that was no joke. Boxing, grab a rope, start. I want to start by thanking everyone at Spartan Academy for welcoming me and taking me through the ropes. And I'm telling you, that is not for the faint of heart. This is so much more than a workout. There are so many moving parts. You're thinking, you're moving, you're there. It's incredible. What I really found fascinating, though, is when we went at first at lunch, I met an amazing woman who had just finished the advanced adult class. And I am telling you, she was rock solid. If if we were down to the last chicken at Costco, I'd let her have it. There is such a huge range of people from little kids right up to, I guess maybe I'm the oldest at 61, but a whole bunch in between. One of the ladies that I met is a police officer looking to up her personal protection game. I found it really exciting and really interesting looking into other types of fitness and it's something that I would be interested in doing more. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to try out some other things. And I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.